All right, welcome back to my channel. I'm Susan Lynn, Psychic Medium, and I am so thrilled, really and truly, to have <laughs> Kevin, the healing medium, with me today. Listen, I know you guys are big fans of his, but if you just rolled into town on the back of a turnip truck, <laughs> this is Kevin, the healing medium, and he's freaking <laughs> amazing. So uh, I'm not, we're not gonna, because we've both been on our channels, each other's channels quite often. Yeah. We actually swap out every month. So next month I'll be on his channel. Uh, so there's no need to really do a biography on e either of us. We we know mm. each other. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> you don't, <laughs> but you're about to find out. You're about to, if you wandered in here by accident, welcome. And you're about to have a good evening, I think, because Kevin and I will take your questions in the chat. And uh, you can have a psychic question about something that's going on in your life, or you may decide that you would like to reach out to a loved one uh, that's crossed over. And Kevin and I talked about this and we thought, let's do one around the holidays. Mm -hmm. because people really want to talk to their loved ones around the holidays. So here we are um, in the middle of the holidays. Happy any holiday that you celebrate. There's about six of them and I always leave one out. So I'm just going to say, if you're celebrating a holiday, I'm celebrating it with you. What do you think, Kevin? I love it. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we're veterans on each other's channels now. We're like veterans. <laughs> we have all access to each other's um, control rooms. It's wonderful. So I I always look forward. Um, I say that everybody's my favorite, but I love reading with you. I really do. I love your energy. I love your approach. I just, I, I love Susan Lynn. And I know all of these people here are saying the same thing. They oh. love Susan Lynn. And Thank you. Thank you, yeah, Susan. your approach, your sense of humor. I'm starring because I have those. <laughs> he's got the controls. I'm he's starring. Just, stuff, no. He's behind the curtains and he's got the controls. So <laughs> what that means is he's picking your questions out of the chat. Uh, that's what that means. And what we do is we feel energetically drawn to the question. Mm. Um, you know, there may be 100 plus plus people here tonight. Obviously, we can't read all of you, but uh, we do read the ones that spirit sort of lights up for us. Yeah, absolutely. We're all there's already 230 here. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's already 230. Um, they are showing up. Thank you all for being here. Oh my yes. goodness. It is yes. the season and whatever that looks like. I'm saying I'm on holidays um, and it feels really good to be able to do the things we enjoy um, doing that together. This is definitely um, always a highlight to um, to read and to read with Susan, Susan uh, Lynn specifically is always wonderful. So lots of people, lots of questions. I love it that you guys are putting the, um, what helps in the mediumship just so that we can get through as many as we can is to put the name in the relationship um, and then be ready in the chat to give us the validation. So the energy in that, when it starts to lag and there's a, a delay, um, it can mm, change the, the energy. So just to really be um, as quickly responsive as possible. Um, we hope to get to as many questions. And then for the psychic, um, if you could be a little less general in the general region and really assist us in sharpening the focus on an area in your life. And in that, we're able to really step into that energy, especially when we're looking um, outward, if you will. So that is really helpful. You'll get better results if you follow these guidelines. Yeah, absolutely. Carol, we can do animals. Sure. I, I feel like somebody's dog is already here. So something else that happens is Kevin and I are mediums. So when we open that door to the other side, cross the veil, uh, as we often do sometime before an actual reading or an event like this, uh, sometimes your people show up early. <laughs> And in this case, a dog did show up early and Kevin has an entire oh. reading that he's going to read right now. So what we would like for you to do, please, is listen to this reading. Now, here's the thing, guys. You may, uh, Kevin does a better job of describing this, but you may find that some parts of the reading really resonate with you, but not all parts. And, and we would say to you that your loved ones are all jumping in together on, let's say, one bandwagon. And 
if you feel like, oh my God, that particular one thing or three things is my grandpa, grandma, mom, sister, brother, then it is because they blended in with that person who also had a similar experience or memory. So in this way, spirit kind of gets a two for one kind of deal going. So you really can get a reading without getting a reading, right? So pay attention, please, to what Kevin's about to say. If it resonates with you, take it as yours, okay? Uh, even if that's more than one of you. I love it. And I just wanted to say, Annette Turcotte, thank you so much for your donation. That thank you, dear. Yeah. Thank you. So, you're so sweet of you. Um, all right. I'm going to pause on the stirring. I love the questions. I love the specifics. Uh, amazing. Um so two, I was aware. Oh, I can't move past this dog first, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's um, it, it's a, a it's a happy dog. Um, dogs. So here's the thing with animals: when you're reading animals, they don't come across as often as their current incarnation. My 75 pound boxer lab always comes across in readings as a multi poo as a little dog. She thinks she's a little dog, just the way some of those little dogs think they're big dogs. So I'm going to be off in the size, but this dog is coming through to me as a medium to bigger size dog. But what's, but what would be something that you could understand would be that the dog is kind of goofy, kind of happy and goofy mm -hmm. with these kind of, kind of walk, like, you know, like that's what makes me think it's a taller dog too. It's kind of has these big steps, you know, um, but it's kind of funny. It's, it's got long legs, maybe even for its body, or it has a funny way of walking. It's a happy dog. Um, I would say that this dog met probably 90% of the people out there perfectly happy with them. 10% probably could, you know, not like you. So not likes, doesn't like everybody, but likes most everybody. Right. Um, and you would really have to be kind of skanky for this dog to not like you, but you know, those people are out there. <laughs> And this dog knows it. So uh, anyway, this dog is here. He's and, and he's he's speaking to a woman, uh, mm. and I do believe it is a male. It could be a female dog, but mm. feeling a little bit like a male because I said he is saying hi, mama. I love you. I miss you. It is a boy. He's saying I'm a good boy. I think you might have told him he's a good boy. Um, he says I'm a good boy, mama. Um, and, and he's being good in heaven, you know, across the rainbow bridge. He's being good. He's a good boy. He seems, he's telling me that he's with <laughs> some old dude, which I think is a grandfather. I think perhaps, um, it doesn't matter if your dad is over there or not. Uh, there's a grandfather that is, uh, that likes dogs, right. That, that particularly, uh, is very kind and gentle to mm -hmm. dogs. So he's with this old dude who's pretty cool. Um, and, and he also says there's a cat. Now, the cat could be from you or it could be from your family. It could be from your childhood. It, I don't know. I don't have time to go deep into it. And that brings me to something else. Listen, guys, this doesn't really happen, right? I mean, look around the world and, and find me mediums that read this quickly. <laughs> Please do. It doesn't happen this quickly, <laughs> Uh, this is really us on, on speed dating, speed mediumship. Uh, we can't really go into the deep details, but I think considering that we're going across the veil and getting this information and bringing it back so quickly is something new. I think it's because the energies are changing um, and that Kevin and I and some of the other mediums that do this are open to those new changes. So anyway, that's what I have. Oh, I she brought something about a hot dog. Maybe it's a hot dog toy. Maybe you dress this dog up as a hot dog for Halloween. God bless you if you did. I don't know why you would do that. But anyway, or maybe you fed this dog hot dog. I'm telling you, and it, the hot dog has mustard. It has ketchup. It has relish. It has a bun. It has everything. So who knows anybody that can take this, but uh, I have your dog temporarily. I okay. love it. That was amazing. <laughs> Um, the only thing, not the only that I can just feel the energy of this dog. And I do want to confirm that the feeling I get with him is him. So male, okay, good. um, I got kind of like the shepherd lab kind of mix. Okay. Yeah. Um, so a little bit more of the hair versus the fur or no opposite. Thank you. More of the fur versus the hair um, and dark and rusty patches on it. And then the T name connection. So that could be the dog 
or the person, or the person. And that be here. So there's something about that. So if anyone understands that dog, what a great dog. I keep, did I hear the name Toby or did you say Toby? I did. You didn't say Toby. Honey, nobody said Toby. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's your special. Oh, she muted. Oh, we can't hear you. Oh. No, I'm not muted. Oh, there, now you came back. Oh, that was curious. That was curious. I didn't do anything. Silent. Yeah, you went silent. Wow. Oh, I love it. Do you what know was I saying? I don't know. Maybe I made Toby mad. I don't know. It's I'm so telling you, that dog could snarl at you if you were skanky. You said the skanky. I was going to do the dance. Just kidding. I wasn't. <laughs> Isn't oh my good? god tibby toby yeah toby tibby yeah yeah i don't i want to know toby hall oh toby it's you dear wait what? toby wait uh oh okay wait let's... i only have the chat on five seconds don't ask me what i was thinking any singing from the... oh <laughs> well he he hasn't <laughs> sung for us yet but do you have a connection to a hot dog i mean can anybody explain the hot dog i swear to god it came in bigger than dallas Maybe the grandfather ate hot dogs. The guy who has him. I don't know. Interesting. Anyway, yeah, it's interesting. Toby, if this is your dog, he sure does love you. And he's a good boy. Aw. So good. Um, I had a dog named Toby growing up. See, that's in. The, I mean, in, on the heels of what Susan Lynn was saying about the postcard. So the energy of the dog and then the specifics of the name. Um, that's the connection. So that's the thing. It's like. You know, we sometimes will create this like um, singular so that we're speaking to one person. But and when we step out of that, they're wanting to reach each and every one of us, you know, literally. So in that feels so good. So good. Um, I'll That's move into the couple of if I can, Susan, Lynn, just the yeah. couple. That, um, so there was two, the first one. And so this might be for someone that's watching now or someone watching the replay. And if you feel um, cause sometimes that'll happen that after the people that are watching, um, if you understand it, if you can let us know in the comments would be wonderful. Um, so the first was a female energy that I was aware of. I heard the name Catherine or the C name. I feel there's a sister connection. So the person receiving that, it feels sisterly or very like deep, close friendship. Um, I feel like there was something neurological, like the, um, I heard the Lou Gehrig's, I believe, which is the ALS. So something in my body, I would have been in the wheelchair. Um, I wasn't able to be in um, any movement at the end. Um, there's a, a, I'll give you the, okay. So there was a mention of Japan and then a focus on Japan was the clothes, the textiles, the culture, um, the geisha. There was just this immersion in Japan. There was also the J name. I did hear Jack, but definitely the J name. Um, the month of December and June, a lot of information, December and June, um, they, it was kind of comical, but there was mention of you getting the parking spot. So I don't know how you would understand that. Also, um, a birthday, recent birthday and a red balloon. And then the message felt like, um, it was this energy of being back in motion specifically through dance. Um, and that they're acknowledging the charity work that you are doing that is being continued in their uh, honor. So all of that. Oh, and then the butterfly. So something about the butterfly. So that's a lot of information. That is a lot of information. And then I'm just going to keep into this to move into the other one, which feels like this is for mom. It's a son that is in the spirit world with the A name. I heard Anthony or Andrew, like the A-N. Um, I do feel this is connected to mom. They wanted to acknowledge grandmother who was in spirit world before um, their passing. So met by grandmother, your mother, maternal. Um, He's acknowledging you bringing out the present each year. So there's something with bringing out the present each year. There was the own name. I heard olive, but then it was also like I, sh I was shown an olive. So I don't know if it's the own name and the olives connection. The passing was accidental. 
that was really important. I had to write it in capital letters. Um, and then there was a reference to the mountains, an acknowledgement of sister and brother, the month of May and July. And this is curious, a couple more things. Number 22 was highlighted. Um, I heard that something about being a part of the club and then I was shown a deck of cards and specifically the Ace of Spades. And this is really random, but I'm going to go with it. The mention of a pot roast. That's not random. This is the holidays. No, what are you talking literally. about? So there you go. And just this outpouring of hello and love, especially around this time, all the time, but especially around this time. So if anyone understands that, I know that's a lot and moving through it quickly, but... Um, I needed to bring that forward. So, all right. Whew. That was a lot. Thank that you. Was so lot. That was a lot. That was a lot. So, so if you guys can, can can hang on to any of that, you might not be able to at this time, but it could also be somebody that watches this on replay and is like, oh, wow, that's me, right? Because um, this came before. Yeah. Before the live event. So, it, it could be for anybody, even watching on replay. And you know what I just heard? What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to write this into the comments afterwards. So if if someone wants oh, to review right. it, I'm going to write this afterwards. I'm going to make a note of it now um, because I know it's for someone. So Perfect. Um, there we go. All right. And not to change the subject, but Tammy says, my mom keeps worrying about her wiener dog and his name was Tiny. Oh, interesting. <laughs> interesting. It could be, it could be, there's about three dogs in the, in the comments that it could be. And that's okay. Again, remember spirit likes to have multiple, you know, connections. So it really can be three of your different dogs all together, blending together uh, because they knew there's three people in the comments right now that had dogs and it can be a small dog that felt like a big dog. It, it really can. I, my 75 pound dog thinks she's a multi poop. So, okay. Fantastic. Thank you, Kevin. That was amazing. Good uh, an amazing amount of detail with dates right. and colors and personality and everything. Mm. Just amazing. Just blows my mind, man. Totally. All righty. Do you want to pick the first one? You go for it. He's okay. got 49 questions start. Um. <laughs> I'm going to eat my weenies real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> Holy smokes. I just right. did whatever I know. And that's the thing. I, I don't, I know we won't get to 49, but there you go. We'll do our best. All righty. D Spark. Hi, Susan and Kim. I'm wondering if my mom, Susan, I'm wondering, it is my mom, Susan's birthday today, and she transitioned in 2019. Oh. May I get a message from her? Ah, uh, yeah. D Spark, huh? I'm so sorry for your loss, honey. Mm -hmm. It's hard. Holidays and birthdays. That's a double yeah. whammy. Um, no. <sighs> I am getting someone with really pretty eyes. Um, I mean, just the color or the shape or the size, something about her eyes, just and, and her smile could sort of light up a room. Uh, D, oh, great. Thank you, D. Get right here and just tell us if we have the right Susan because the green room is full of dead people. <laughs> and, and there could be five Susans in there. And I'm a Susan myself. So, um, okay, so I'm seeing this woman who's just really, um, gosh, gentle, generous, um, a thinker, a, a little bit. She could, she she could, uh, what is that? I don't know if she furled her eyebrows. But anyway, she could be very um, intellectual or, or she could uh, have, maybe she had this mom thing. Where she could just zero in on her kids and be like, what's going on? I know something's going on. You know, so she has this personality dynamic, right? That yeah. is this gracious person. But then she could turn around and be like, mom, like, okay, what's going on? Uh, so she could be very tuned in to her kids. Um, she says she's fine. Um, 
she is there with family, but I don't sense a great closeness with those family members. I mean, they're there, but she's kind of like, I don't know if they're not her favorite family members or if they're people that she wasn't very close to. Uh, there's one person she's close to. It feels like a grandmother. Um, she was the mother of eight and very focused on kids. Yes, I see that. Mm. She had that mother ability to know one of her kids was doing something they shouldn't do. You know, like that eyes in the back of the head <laughs> or maybe that, that kid needed an extra, you know, snack in their lunch or just an extra, um, you know, hug or some, some kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Kelly, for that's very sweet of you. Thanks, Kelly. Um, but, but she's perfect. She loved the color yellow. Beautiful. Oh. Um, go ahead, Kevin. Are you ready to roll? I, yeah, oh, I got, I, I'm picking up on the other S name, something like Sandra, but the other uh, S name being acknowledged, my ears are ringing. Oh boy. Um, the month of May being significant. Um, and I got really short with my breath. So I don't know if you would understand the, um, the shortness in the breath. Yeah, um, oh, this is cute. The um, acknowledgement about your hair. I don't know if you just got your hair done, but I feel like she's mentioning like I admiration for your hair. So I don't know if you're thinking about getting it changed or doing something different, but there's something about the support of the hair. She mentioned, this is really random, but maybe not random. I don't know why I said that, um, but a stamp collection. So, who has the stamp collection? And then the mention, I see a ladybug around you, um, a ladybug. And then into the message, it is encouragement for you to take the next step. So in your kind of deliberation, contemplation, it's like, you know, there's that element of risk, but encouragement to step into that. So, um, yeah, that's what's coming through for you. I agree. She's saying spread your wings. You know, um, it's time to be bigger. Uh, it's not, it's time for you to, maybe there's a time in our lives where we play small or we kind of, you know, kind of pull our energy in. And she says, now you're coming into a time where it's really time to open up. Um, I think she has grandkids, isn't she talking about her grandkids? Uh, uh, she's talking about, there, there's a number of children, right? There's a number of, you said eight. Well, I'm seeing way more than eight. Um, and uh, she's very... I really feel like she was a matriarch in many ways. You know, she was so, someone that everybody kind of came around. Everybody mm -hmm. wanted to be, her energy was so pretty, so nice. Thank you, Lisa. That's very sweet of you. Oh, um, oh your birthday's in May. Okay. Oh, and you just right. got a haircut and it's a better haircut and you like it. Okay. Mom's acknowledging that. That's so wonderful. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Yes. I love it when, I love it when they show that they're right there with you at the salon. Yeah. <laughs> and total matriarch. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I'm sorry um, she's gone. I know she was a big loss for your family. Um, I mean, really, like, I think people thought, where do we go? What do we do? Who are we? Right. Like our whole identity or uh, a lot of family customs. Uh, she was sort of the head of that. Yeah. Um, she says you're doing fine without her. And, and also this is important to know, she says she, there's no need for anybody to fill my shoes. I think around the holidays, we often want to appoint somebody. Will you be the person who has the holiday thing? Or you be the person who gets everybody together? And she says, there's no need for anyone to fill my shoes. And she says that you feel like the family's kind of drifting apart. And she says, Yes and no. She says it, it's it's okay. Don't worry about that. It's um it's not it's not irreversible or, or you know it's it's okay. So I didn't mention of that ladybug. Watch for the ladybug. Um, mm -hmm. D Spark, watch for the ladybug. And it's really interesting. A hit on the shoes when Susan Lynn mentioned the shoes. Do you actually still have your mom's shoes? Because I, I never mentioned shoes. I'm telling you, he's hearing the voices. And he, yeah. <laughs> no, I think it's wonderful. Okay. It's just supposed to show you that, you know, you're getting, you're getting it. Okay. Oh, that's curious. Mm. Oh, D -star, D Spark, the shoes are coming. Don't worry. It's coming. You'll, you'll know it between wow. now and New Year's. Someone will say, look at these new shoes I got or something yeah. like that. You'll, you'll know. You'll, you'll hear that. Thank you for being here, D Spark. Yes, thank you, dear. Much love and light to you. Aww. 
All righty. I'm spinning the wheel. Spin the wheel. Um, here we go. Where are we here? Oh, kitty. Um, I don't always read the question before, um, including this. Does my daughter, Sarah, have a message for me? Oh, yeah. Daughter, Sarah. You know, for some reason, I'm getting a macaroni or macaroni and cheese. I don't know what if she liked mm. macaroni or macaroni and cheese. Specifically, more macaroni, but I don't know what that's about. It uh, could be also that she decorated, you know how when mm. you're kids and you decorate the tree or something with macaroni, you either string it or you glue it down. Something about macaroni. Um, if that doesn't make any sense, let me know. I just want to make sure that I'm talking to the right person. Um, this obviously would be in the past, <laughs> in the far past. She loved macaroni. Okay, great. Macaroni. That's the right person. Oh. That's good. Oh um, my gosh, so good. She, she really loves you. I mean, I, I know that just sounds like a platitude, right? But it's really not. She really, really <laughs> loves you. She really respects you. She respects your metal, M-E-T-T-L-E. -T -T -E. She says that you have, um, you're a strong person. She says you have a very strong backbone. Uh, maybe you're too strong, uh, actually. She says, you know, it's okay to get help. It's okay to grieve. It's okay to fall apart, right? Uh, she says, it's okay to fall apart because all your parts are still there. They'll just snap back together uh, mm. again. It's not the end of the world. Um, uh, she, she's talking about her dad. I don't know. Um, it fe That feels like, um, I'm not sure how that, that feels a little bit awkward, but uh, she's asking about her dad too, uh, or to say, say that she, she sends her love to you, the siblings. Um, mm. And I'm not, I'm not sure about siblings. There, yeah, I think there are siblings. Um, but she wants to focus on you. Mm. She visits you. I don't know if you light a candle. But she, she sees you. She, if you don't light a candle, you may, you may be drawn to. But it's a way to meditate. Like you just kind of stare off and you just kind of you know, go into sort of a trance or like a, you know, like kind of mind uh, daydreaming. Mm -hmm. She has a brother. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, go ahead, Kevin. Are you ready to roll? Um, yeah. Okay. Um, oh my God. I can't... She my lost God. over 40 people between her dad's death and hers. My God, Donna, no wonder she's saying you're a very strong person, wow. right? No wonder she's saying that. No wonder she's saying it's okay to grieve yeah. and it's okay to fall apart because my God, girlfriend, yeah. that's, um, that's in just incredible and not in a good way. Um, my heart goes out to you. Yeah. Okay, Kevin, I'm sorry. It was interesting. I paused there because what I heard was accepting what is. And I was like, do you really want me to say that? And it's like, in such the depths of grief and the loss of a child and all of like, if for, not if, but 40 people in that it's like accepting what is, is really hard, but that's the encouragement and love that comes through from spirit. So maybe you needed to hear that, that is difficult as, as it is just, and it's hard for me to say that because it's, it's, I'm getting in the way. Um, in it, I can just feel the emotion of that. Um, some of the messaging, I can't move past the yellow flowers. So something about the yellow flowers for you, um, the significance around the month of March, I see butterflies around you. Um, yes. So the butterflies, I don't know if that's one of the signs for you. I heard the name Cindy and Michael. So the C name and the M name, I did get the mention of the brother um, and then I can hear you talking to her in your car. Know that she hears you when you're in that, um, in the space where you're having the conversation, she's hearing all of that. Um, and then the one, one kind of last thing is, um, she's encouraging you to keep learning. So I don't know if it's through workshop or seminars, if you've got desire to be, um, to learn some new skill, she's encouraging you to be in that. Um, feely, feels really good, um, Donna. So I'll leave you with that. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And my, our heart goes out to you, dear. Oh, okay. So big good. hugs, big hugs for you. Yeah. Whew. 
Whew. Okay. Oh, Wait, and you. hats off to your daughter for coming in when there's 40 mm. other people over there that could yeah. want to speak to you. Yeah. That, that was pretty. Do you want to choose the next? No, go ahead. You are doing okay. such a good job. Perfect. I'm on it. I'm just going to uncharge this one. Where is... Um, okay, While well, he's pulling the thing, I want you guys all to stay warm. I see that Cindy P doesn't have power, and my heart goes out to any of you guys that don't have power. Uh, my pipes were frozen today, but they've come oh. back. They've come back this afternoon. My, they're not supposed to freeze. They're pecs. They're, they're a special <laughs> kind of pipe, but they froze. So um, I didn't have water today, but um, I'm lucky that I have it right now. Um, so stay warm, everybody. Don't, don't take any chances with this weather. Stay warm. No kidding. Thank you. Unique one. All right. See, I chose one. Kimmy J. I'd love some guidance on if I will find a new job in 2023. I'm hearing yes. I'm, gonna, I'm hearing yes. Yeah, right I'm off like, the bat. Oh, yes. I'm like, okay, I got it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Don't you think it's going to be early? I think it's going to be spring. Uh, spring. Spring March. Yes, yes. And yeah. my pendulum's a strong yes. It was um, a strong yes, yeah. Yeah, as soon as I read it. And and that what that means is there's not much confusion around it. There's no ifs and or buts. Like sometimes it's yes, but you might need to do this. You might need to know that. Yeah. In the hand. Yeah. Yes. In the hand. The universe is your partner. So you in the creation of what this job um, kind of looks like, um, focusing in on how it makes you feel is also important. It's a yes. Um, I feel like you turned something down <laughs> um, and it feels like it was a good choice. Um, or I don't know if you started and then you left, um, but it feels like it was um, to allow you to step into the opportunity, kind of the, the, the right fit. Um, so yeah, a, a definite yes. Slam mm -hmm. dunk. Rock on. I love it. All righty. I'm going to unstart. Thanks, T. Barb. I yeah, I, I, I secured, I, I wrapped, I wrapped everything three times and, and it still froze and I dripped. So it's uh our houses just aren't made for this down here. We don't know what this stuff is. Yeah. <laughs> Thank oh, you all for being all here. All right. Good another job. another job question. All right, let's do this. Oh, hello. Um this is a more complicated yes. It's so funny because look at I got proceed with caution. I know I want to say yes, but I'm like, okay, there's something. Sorry there's to something interrupt. There's something there. Yeah. Uh, I think what. And the wait card. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. You you really, it, it because you know, Nancy, that if you just, well, you just know you're not the kind of person that can just work anywhere. Like some people, it's like, it's just a job. It's just a paycheck. Mm. I don't care. And that's cool. Right. But some of us can't do that. I mean, it's not saying that one's better and one's worse. There's no judgment here. It's just whether or not you can do that kind of thing or not. And you're not that kind of person. You don't, you can't, you don't suffer fools. I mean, you know, if somebody's going to be idiots, you really find it hard to work with them. You want to work with people that are about their business, doing their job. So uh, you really need to find the right one and something is going to get clearer for you. Okay. The waiting process is actually a clarification. In the waiting process, if you can, and I understand how hard this is for me, um, if you can try not to worry so much and mm. instead just be and have faith, yeah, then your guides can guide you. But when we're worrying and we're searching and we're trying to be busy, very hard for the guides to, to guide us, right? So step back and give them room to take control. What did you get, Kevin? Yeah, yeah, I love it. The worry brings in more worry. So the abundance, those right. are the thoughts and feelings that you need to put out there. I got a hit for the month of February and I got a hit for the month of April. And so I feel like in this, being really selective um, feels really good. And so in that, they will present. Yes, you will. Um, yeah, before the the first half of the year, um, find the right employment. Mm -hmm. And it's good. It's a good fit. This is important. They keep talking about a good fit, like a good team, a good melding. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. It. it looks good. You just have to kind of not worry too much and kind of 
maybe try to distract yourself with something for about, you know, six weeks, I think. Beautiful Grace. Today I was awoken from a nap with a female voice calling my name. Any idea what that was? Thank you. Thank I heard you. grandmother. Would you understand mm. your grandmother on your dad's side, Grace, in spirit? And know that you might not know them. Oh, thank you, Donna MC. Appreciate that. Um, you, 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 they can call your name without you really knowing them mm. in this lifetime. I mean, they know your soul. They're, you're part of their soul family, right? So, but, but, um, are you, are you picking up that she had a close relationship with this grandmother? It feels somewhat familiar to me. Okay. Yeah. Grace, if you are here. Yes. And she called out Vicky, which is my first name. Grace is my middle name. Isn't that curious? Nice. So you will understand. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I'm, yeah. I don't know why I'm shuffling cards. That's who I'm getting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She said she didn't recognize the voice, but that's okay. My aunt called me and I, I sort of recognized it, but I sort of yeah. didn't. Because if you think I about think it, spirit doesn't have a vocal cord they're vocal but that they don't have that so in the manifestation of the voice that vibration can sound different but it can feel um right if that makes sense um and what i heard is that she's acknowledging you cherishing yourself so there's an acknowledgement for you cherishing yourself um yes, yes, Grace. Yes. you recently <laughs> made a decision didn't you to put yourself first over a situation and she's hoping that you'll continue to make decisions like that in the future. So good. Thank you, Grace. Uh, I didn't feel threatened, but I was startled because, yeah, I know it's, listen, when you hear your name called and you're not used to it, or even when you are used to it, it's startling. <laughs> Kevin keeps thinking it's me calling him. Really, not. telepathically, we're just having our own little chit chat going on here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right. All the best to you, Grace. Yes, dear. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how to say that. Britmas? Britmies. Brit, Brit, Britmies. <laughs> B. <laughs> yeah. Or Brit. I like it. Put that there. All right. Brit. Um, <sighs> ancestors. Okay. Ancestors. Um, oh, if you're here, Brit, could you help us in that? Um, if you're here, just maybe narrow it down. Um, what are about you, her spirit guide? Are you yeah. getting anything from her spirit guide? Cause I'm, I'm getting yeah. something from a spirit guide. I yeah. mean, maybe it was an ancestor that's now a spirit guide, but I feel like it's a spirit guide, not an ancestor. If that um, makes any sense to me, it's different, but you know, um, I'm getting you're stronger than they are. And not to say, but, but that's what they said. Um, I think maybe you're, um, there's somebody in your life, in your world that is talking, that is maybe has had not the most supportive mm. role with you. And they've been kind of, I, I'm hearing the word poisoning the well, meaning you're, you're, they maybe they've said some things when you were a child, or maybe there's there's somebody you work with, but there but this goes back to when you were a child. This kind of this kind of poisoning of your positivity, right? Like when people say, "Oh, you're not who you think you are," and and you know it it kind of unsettles us. It takes us off of our off of our power charger, so to speak, right? Um, so um, your guides just want to say that you've got everything you need in you. Uh, to do whatever it is you need to do and not to think, not to pay attention to what other people are saying. What other people are saying is not accurate. It's, it is an ulterior motive in what they're saying. I don't know. What are you getting dear? Um, I got a bit dizzy actually. Oh, <laughs> stepping into that energy felt really, um, Grand. Um, I'm getting a hit around the um, 
the spirit of nature and nature spirit. And in it, it's like I was taken into the air and I became an eagle. And so your um, what what the energy feels like in that connection is like, um, tell me what you're saying, uh, compassion. So they're taking you higher to, to get a little bit of a different outlook, a little different perspective, a little different vision. So a little focus, a little different attention um, through that different perspective. And in it, um, there's compassion. And so that can be for you and that can be for other people. Um, oh, and the number 33. I keep seeing the number 33. That's just really random, but... Um, the number 33, Brit. <laughs> My mother, Lorraine Cheney. Okay. That, that might be who I, I think it's, I think what I did was I described your current situation and what Kevin did was describe how to fix it. Right. Uh, so interesting. Uh, go to that higher viewpoint mm. and it is dizzying. It's making me dizzy. And I wonder if the dizzying has something to do with something because I'm hearing dizzying new heights. Yeah. So you're rising up also. You're soaring as the eagle or the, the bird, mm -hmm. um, but you're also, they're soaring. There's dizzying heights. You're going to new heights. Oh, Samantha, that's awesome. 444 in the chat. Nice, that's nice. That's a good one. Thank you Love guys so much for joining us tonight. Yay. It's the season. It is the season. Sorry, I, I got your name wrong, Brett. What's that, Susan? Then? I, I hope it's helpful for you, dear. Hmm. Absolutely. All right. I love this name. Oh, bless you, Grace. Thank you so much. Thank you, Grace. That's so sweet. Thank you. Um, okay. Grandmother who raised me. Okay. Grandmother. Uh, Nisi. Nisi. Nisi, if you're here, jump into the chat. Um, Nisi, were you a bit of a of a a quasi tomboy or like the kind of kid that would wear uh, a dress while wearing a big, riding a big wheel uh, <laughs> recklessly or, you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like you had your own special personality uh, that your grandmother wants to talk about. You had this special personality that um, was a little bit different. You know what I mean? Like you didn't march to everybody else's beat. You always did your own thing. You were individual. Um, let me know if that makes sense, if that makes sense about you so that I can make sure that I've got the right grandmother. Um, I don't see them in the chat. Nisi, are you here? Knock on the ceiling three times if you're here. Oh, look what Brit, Brit, Mies, Brit Mies said. She, she soars in her dreams. Oh, Interesting. I love that's it. confirmation for you, dear. The mm -hmm. as your spirit guides are. That's you know you're working with them, right? Um, so I'm sorry, Denise. Oh yes. Back. Oh, I was different. I, I love that. You were different. Okay, you that's cool. the best friend. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, your grandmother is such a sweet soul. Uh -huh. um, I know that it was a big loss for you when she was a mother. She was a mother figure for uh -huh. you, and she was very maternal. Um, and very caring for you. Uh, she was quite a bit older than you as a grandmother, I feel like. She could have even been like a great-grandmother age. I don't know. I feel like she was older, way older. Um, or maybe it was just her, oh, there's two women coming in now. Now I'm going to get all kind of confused. Okay, there's two women coming in. Um, you're still different. That's great, Nisi. Me Love too, that. girlfriend. Me too. Um mm -hmm. She loves you so much. And, you know, the reason she brought that up is because she loved that about you. She, she, she says you have spunk. Mm. She says you have a lot of spunk. And she really loved that. You were your own person. Um, and you did care, but you didn't care what other kids thought. Um, She made you comfort food. I don't think whoever else in your family didn't cook that much. Uh, she made, who was a young grandmother. See, there's two women coming in. 
there's two women coming in. There's an mm -hmm. older grandmother and a younger woman that just popped in when I said older. Um, did do you have a memory of the older grandmother? I think it might have been her mother, your grandmother's mother. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, go ahead, Kevin. Awesome. Um, Nisi, I heard the, the, it's interesting. It's like they're doing this double or triple kind of take on the, um, each word. And so I heard the P name, um, but then I heard Pearl and then I heard pearls. So I don't know what that means other than P, P, P. <laughs> um, I pulled a card and this just felt really good. So how she saw you was a, like a daughter. So child and just you being in the energy of that, she brought me outside and I started to smell. Um, so the floral, um, I feel like you smell her. And so in that, she brought yes. me out to the garden. There was more of that like garden floral just to really accentuate the, the, the um, Claire aliens, the ability to smell her. So that's communication. Yes. And then there was a highlight about the month of January. And then when I, oh yeah, when I was out in the garden, I saw a dragonfly. So you may already connect to the dragonfly. Um, that can just be another layer of the signs that she's showing you. But I feel you're really in tune. Um, she's making me feel like you're really in tune with the signs um, and that she loves that because in that is communication and that's forever. So feels really good. Oh, and I did pull one other card, um, the freedom card. And that feels really nice um, in her energy. There is that sense of freedom. So beautiful. Absolutely, absolutely. She wants to stay because she loves this. She wants to stay for this whole show and she will because <laughs> he loves this stuff. Yeah, she's like pulling up a chair. She can't get enough is what she makes me feel. She's like, it's fascinating. This is fascinating. Yeah. Oh, you know what, Nisi, she's saying, I think this is what you were alluding to, Kevin, when you said uh, that Nisi's aware of the signs. Mm -hmm. What she just said to me was she thinks Nisi has abilities, that yeah. Nisi has a very strong, like very strong intuition. And Nisi, you... You, like Kevin said, you know the signs. You're like, I know that dragonfly isn't just a dragonfly. There's something special. So you recognize energy. That's when I say this has energy around it. That's what I mean. Like it's blended with something else, a spirit or something. Um, she likes soap operas. That's awesome. Oh my God. So good. Yeah. Love Thank it. you, Nisi. She really loves you. She's hanging out with you. Uh, she is your biggest fan. Love it. All right. This one caught my eye. Speaking of little bugs, Twitter bug and the flowers. That's interesting how spirit lines that up. Does spirit have a message for me? Twitter bug. Yes, they do. Um, are you moving? Are you planning to move? I see movement. I kind of see sudden movement. I don't know if you're planning to move. Um, you're welcome, Nisi. All the best to you. Twitter bug, um, let us know if you're still here. Um, um, I feel like you, you might be moving. I'm not sure that you're planning on it. Uh, it feels a little sudden. Um, but I will say that it, it's good. It's not, it's not a bad move. It's a good move. But I think that you, I'm not sure that there's something about it you're not happy with, either the move itself or the time frame or something. But it, but it's, it's, they're positioning you, dear. They're positioning you to be in the right spot for the next step. It's, it's like your spirit guides are saying, no, kind of come over this way. And then you're going to be lined up better. You're going to be in a much better place. Are you here, Twitter bug? Little Twitcher bug. Um, oh, I love that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead with this too, because I feel this is also, um, this just, this message feels collective. It feels like there's multiple people that need to hear this. The first card was the, um, the magician's sword. And it's that 
it's confidence and it's like confidence being your magic. But what's really interesting, it's connected to speaking your truth. And there's responsibility that comes when we're speaking our truth because of the impact that can have. And we've all been there where it's like, okay, I could have said that differently. I could have said it, you know, a little better. It's to teach us, you know, so that when we go back into that, um, so being in the, oh, it's Archangel Gabriel. I love that. So really, I think that goes hand in hand with the confidence. And it takes something sometimes to actually um, be in the self-expression, to be in our voice. And so Spirit, um, your guide, Twitter bug, and whoever else needs to hear this is really supporting um, that self-expression. So yeah, our delivery, you know, it's <laughs> what's the saying? It's not um, what we say, it's how we say it sometimes. So yeah. Yes. I needed to hear that too. Thank you. Twitter bug. I love that name. Yes. So good. All right. Let's non and do says just lurking. Thank you for lurking. Yeah. We love all of y'all. <laughs> Why do we say <laughs> Why do we say y'all? Um, because we're from the South. Totally. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think Freya's you think fun of us Southerners. Aw. Freya's <laughs> mom, are you here? And then a goatee man. I got it right. Remember ah, the nice. very first time I was on your channel? <laughs> I spent like five minutes trying to get that name. Oh, my God. Really? Uh, I didn't know that. We we didn't know that until you just outed yourself. Totally. I'm like <laughs> Freya's mom, are you here? Does my brother Alex have a message for me? Freya's mom, are you here? Just say yes. Uh, I, I imagine people like in another part of their house just listening to us and then really? having to get <gasps> to their really phone. Like... <laughs> I'm here, I'm here. Yeah, we it's give you like nine the seconds. Right when they go down, it's me. Woo! Yeah. <sighs> I used to oh. see spirits do that when I first started doing this work. It was like Price is Right, like the spirit would say, it's me. And they would run down the, the, yeah. the audience cheering and everybody slapping them on the back. It's hilarious, right? I might have been the one who fell. Oh, boy. <laughs> totally. Come on down. Yeah. Just let me get up first. You know what? The crowd loved you. You would have crowd surfed. Totally. You would have crowd surfed. They would have picked you up and you just would have crowd surfed all the way down. Well, I don't know if Freya's here. We might have to move on okay. here. Let's move on to a goatee man. If you are here, does my deceased brother have anything to say? Let's see. Oh, Kimmy, bless you. Thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. Aw, so kind. People are so Yes, generous. you guys are beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, and I want to say thank you to the moderators. Thank you for sharing site, for showing up to everybody's show and moderating. You are the stalwart moderator. Mm. Yeah, Cindy, I get I get pushy speak. Yes, we do. Okay, a goatee man says his name is Jonathan. Thank Perfect. you, a goatee man. Thank you. Um, that helps a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if this is somebody in your family or if this is Jonathan, but I'm getting fishing. <gasps> I just wrote down life. the ocean. What? I just wrote down the ocean. <laughs> the ocean. All right. Not fishing. Water. Okay. Water, ocean, fly fishing, fishing, um, <laughs> water. Yeah, for sure. Um, nice. Nice. The, our minds just melded like and became one big <sighs> brain for a minute. Um, okay. Jonathan. Um, I wouldn't say he's like a talker. <laughs> uh, he's not he's not like really chatting but oh Freya's mom just showed up uh, we'll maybe come back to you dear um, um, Jonathan Jonathan okay he's like how's it going he's he's like how's it going bro how, how are you doing uh, he's like um, you know it's like greeting he's greeting you um, um Oh, thanks, Rosa. Thank you, Rosa. Um, I, you know, I feel like there was a time when you guys were kind of a little bit closer together, maybe when you were younger. Um, I feel like, I don't know if there's an age difference or if there was a, 
a separation when you got older or something, a little bit more of a separation. But I feel like he's telling me he, at least he's showing me a time when you were much, much, much younger, much younger, where um, like maybe even little boys mm. where you guys were closer. But I do think there, there must be, there's an, there seems to be a little bit of an age difference, just a little bit. Um, Oh, he was a cancer and had pet fish. Yes, age mm. different, closer when we were boys. Okay. Uh, he had, so the water, fish. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's an interesting way. Um, okay. Um, he's talking about your mom. I don't know if your mom is in spirit. Mm. Um, it doesn't matter if she is. Either way, he's talking about her. He He could be visiting her. Either way, you know, whether she's here or there, doesn't really matter. Um, I feel like you might have had a little bit of a choppy childhood or a little bit of an uncertain childhood. Uh, uh, some some things that happened that made you feel a, a, a weary or wary of some things. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense. Go ahead, Kevin. Let us blast us with your. Uh, yeah, it's funny because I came in. He came in kind of with surfer, 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 surfer vibes, and in that kind of free spirit, um, free will. I think he was really in his demonstration of free will, doing what he kind of wanted to do, and in that, um, that's how he learned. I feel like he got an accelerated version of the earth school um, through his risk taking. Some might um, see that mm -hmm. as um, in it. I also heard the D name connection, um, the month of September, there was the strong significance about the ocean and water. I see a lot of movement around you. Um, so lots of changes and like movement and shifting, um, maybe even in the, in, under, in your household. Um, it doesn't have to be external job moving, all of that. I heard the piano playing. I added classical to it, but I think I might have got in the way there. I heard the piano playing. And then, interesting enough, Speak Your Truth came up again, which is really interesting. I shuffled those cards. So perhaps just before and just after, you being in your own self-expression feels really good. And one of the, the ways that he shows you um, the signs is through the number five, the repetition of the five which is also the change, um, is from him as well. Nice. Yeah. Linda G is in the house. Hey, uh, Linda G. Hi, thank you so you. much for that donation. So and thanks for visiting us. Really appreciate you being here. I um, loved your collab with Linda G. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was laughing. <laughs> the whole that was fun, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, my God. A blast. We all I'm, needed that. I mean, we need the pins. If we ever do that again, the whole audience is going to be buying the pins because I think we had some leakage going on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so good. Um, but a, a goatee um, man. Uh, yeah, dear. I, I would say that... Um, there's really a love between you. Um, mm. You know, there's a, there's a connection between you that maybe didn't get formally, you know, it wasn't maybe so formal or, or outward, I guess that's what I'm saying. But um, yeah. And what Kevin was saying about this freedom and this sort of uh, mm -hmm. sense that he was a little bit more, maybe he was a more of a risk taker or maybe he just didn't care what society thought about some things. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're a little bit more grounded. Um, I feel like you guys were kind of very different. Um, but, but he, he talks to you on the wind. Uh, did you, you said piano, I would say mm -hmm. wind chimes. I would say when you hear wind chimes or piano or that kind of tinkling noise, mm -hmm. he tends to talk to you in the wind, the wind through the trees, um, and maybe piano has is something that you do or somebody in your family or your ch children do, or maybe it's something he did. Um, I don't know. Um, let us know in the chat if any of that is resonating for you. And I wasn't looking at the chat, so I don't know. I didn't. You've already been. Yeah, I didn't see too much. Oh, 
he says hello to Linda. <laughs> Hi, Linda. Um, so yeah, he he is um, he's on your team. He supports you. He supports your decisions. He feels like life has been a little bit hard for you, actually. Um, you you've had some hard knocks, um, but he's with you. Thank you, Doctor K. Oh, so kind. All righty. Oh, uh, well, you want to go back to Freya's mom because she was. Um... That's so funny. I was just doing it. Look at us. <laughs> so good. Kate, Kate thank Hopkins, you. thank you so much, dear, mom. for your donation. Thank yeah. you. Freya's um, mom. Okay, Brother Alex. Okay. <laughs> Brother Alex. <laughs> I'm, why am I getting kites? Uh, I don't know if somebody, it, this could be so many different things. It could be that um, mm. there were, you flew kites as a kid, but it could also be that you decorated a kite or it could be that one of your kids or somebody in the family, it, there's something about kites and it could show up in any manner of ways, to be honest with you. Um I'm getting a sense that he liked good food, that he, he would, um, he would know if he didn't know, I feel like maybe if he wasn't in the kitchen a lot, he had certain things that he liked to cook. Maybe he was a guy that did the barbecue or maybe he had a certain something that he liked to cook because I feel like he's got a real appreciation for a certain type of food. Um, and it doesn't feel sweet. It feels more like, to me, it feels more like, you know, meat or uh, just a savory type food, like mm -hmm. salty and savory, he's saying. Um, that might be, maybe he likes, you know, peanuts, but he, you know, something salty, but not necessarily. He says, I'm getting it all wrong because salty and savory don't go together in the same mm -hmm. thing, like on the same steak. It's just, um, he likes savory, but he also likes salt. Okay. Maybe I get that right. Um he sends his love. Um, he go ahead, uh, go ahead, go ahead, Kevin. I'm getting yeah. a little girl, a young lady. I'm not sure if he has a daughter or if he has a um, a, or a niece. But there seems he's talking about a young, a young, and young could be anything, right? Because he could be talking about the age she was when he crossed, or he could mm -hmm. be. Um, Go ahead, uh, Kevin. What do you think? Yeah, I feel it's 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 more than one, and so I also I'm also aware of the um, older gentleman. I've got a, a, quite a pain in my head, and so I don't know if that's both of them, Alex, or the uh, the older gentleman. Um, the M name, also the significance again about the month of September. Um, this is this is great. I don't know New Zealand, and is that where they filmed The Hobbit? Oh, I don't know. Is it the know. Hobbit or New Zealand that is the? I don't know. Energy. I'm, I'm both. I'm aware of the it's Hobbit both. and New Zealand. I, I think it's, it down. Yeah, it's both. I yeah. think New Zealand. Yeah. Yeah, and there's something about a specific or kind of unique oh. birth marking, um, and then oh, it's neat. It, it feels like just a quick attempt to be through um, the memories, all of the stories uh, and something specifically about a UFO story. And so in it, yes, of course, the outpouring of love um, that comes from spirit. I don't feel like it's just him. It's not to say it's not, um, but it does feel collective. Um, yep. So I think she's somehow in a time warp <laughs> and and she's not caught up on the live. Like I think she's watching a delayed because she's okay. still saying she's here while we're still talking about her. So I'm oh, not sure. Um, I'm not sure how she's going to catch up with us, but uh, lobster, LOL. I'm not sure. what. <laughs> Did we talk about lobsters? Oh, maybe that's what he liked to eat. Okay. So maybe that was his special thing. He liked to eat was lobster. Okay, great. Um, all right. Now she's caught up. Okay. Okay. Uh, let us know, dear Freya. I don't know if you just heard what Kevin said. Um, let us know if that makes sense to you, but he is with you. Uh, I think he also had a little bit of a sense of humor, like a dry or a, not a slap dash sense of humor, or big, happy guy, but yeah, more of a dry sense of humor, but he, he had a sense of humor. So good. 
All righty. Thank you, dear. Uh, whoo, that is a banner. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dr. K. Oh, I feel that connects to this energy. Um, it would oh. be grand and it would like um, draw people's attention. And now I need to read this. My brother, also brother, interesting. Um, life and addiction, we were very good at the end, um, but not living with his victim complex legacy among sister-in-law and her family. They think they saved him from us. Does he have a message or guidance? Interesting. So you're you're saying that he's crossed over, I assume, right, Dr. K? Okay. Yeah. Um, they do. think they saved him from us. Whoa, that's toxic. There's a lot of toxic. Oh, good. Uh, Kevin, look at Freya's mom is validating your September and Mary. Uh, Mary. Um, Kevin is is the bomb diggity, you guys. The bomb diggity. Oh, your name is Mary. Oh, yeah. So he's he's uh, just so on the money with these very accurate details, right? I love it. Okay, so um, thanks, Susan Lynn. Um, Doctor K, are you still here? Just so that we yeah. He immediately typed in yes. <laughs> okay. Oh well, that yeah. was quick. Yeah. Amazing. That was instant. Okay. And so maybe that was yes to that their past as well. Okay. But yes, obviously. Dreaming, <laughs> now living with his victim complex legacy. So you're wondering about the living with his victim complex legacy. Okay. Never mind. Your brother is saying, yeah, who cares about them. Yeah. He's like, blow it off. Um, yeah. Don't worry about them. Like they're living rent free in your head. Um, don't totally do not let them live rent free in your head. Um, He says everything was as it should be. He yeah. left when he was supposed to leave. Uh, everything, you know, um, as far as that goes, um, that was had nothing to do with them. Um, thank you, Mary, for your donation. I really appreciate it. Also, he's saying that um, he wants to apologize. He feels like he put you specifically uh, through a lot. And he's showing me that you guys were pretty close um, that, that could be on again, off again, maybe depending on his, where he was dealing with his things. But it, it, he says, look, it's undeniable. Mm -hmm. Our bond was undeniable. Um, no matter what happened, I, I almost feel like you guys have twin energy. Like, mm -hmm. like you knew what was happening with each other. You, could maybe not be talking, but yet somehow you just got this impression, right? Um, so he's saying his heart is with you. Um, he, he's, again, genuinely sorry for everything he put you through. He feels like he, he feels like he drug you away from your family or something, or he feels like you, you spent a lot of time worrying about him or maybe helping him or being involved. And he feels like that pulled you away from your life and your family. And he wants to apologize to you. He says that's it's very selfish, right? Uh, when people are in uh, ad addictions, they're, they're all they think about is themselves and their addiction. So he, he wants to really tell you how important you were to him and what a hero you were to him and how, what a stabilizing force you're very stable. So whenever he was talking to you or around you, you stabilized him. Mm -hmm. You probably didn't know that, but that's the way he felt about it. And he has a lot of love for you. All right, Kevin, go for it. Yeah, I love it. Um, thank you, Linda J for your donation. Um, I think that was the, re I mean, that's the key. It's like all of the details and the, um, the stuff that we can be tripped up on. It's like, um, I pulled the time machine card and that's the thing. It's like him just wanting to shift the time so that it's like, we're not spending it in those repetitive thoughts that are just not helping anything. So he wants you to be in the transformation, the movement through those kind of thoughts that can be so um, limiting. And so in that, he also wants to acknowledge Susan Lynn was feeling into that part about you making a difference. So whether you recognize that or not, he acknowledges the difference that you made in his life. So yes, it's like, we can't change it. And the, the, the bigger plan was that was his, um, 
that was his experience. So in it, um, there was lots of learning. I feel like he was mentioning, oh, a couple of things. I wrote it down. Um, the end name, someone with the end name and connection, the, I heard 37. I don't know if that breaks down to month, March and July, but I also heard July and October, um, but 37. Um, and then did you plant something in his honor? Nice. So maybe, I don't know if it was literal that you planted something in his honor or in his memory, um, but that's what he was making me aware of. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I think you said it's something about the sense of humor. Maybe you didn't, um, but he said he likes it when you're in the movement. So move your body. <laughs> Move your body, literally. <laughs> um, feels really good. <laughs> oh my God. All right. I wonder if she if she started some new exercise or if she's contemplating know. it. Um, Red Hat Cat, thank you so much for your donation. Adriana, thank you for your donation. Uh, you guys are so sweet. Um, all right. Uh, Dr. K, um, he he just loves you, okay? And uh he's still with you. He, he's also very, he's just trying to support you, right? He's trying to be there to support you the way you supported him. So good. Just in a dirt. Oh, he was hilarious. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> With that dry sense of humor, like that's, that's, Ooh. you know, like, wait, what? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you, you catch it sort of afterwards. Yeah. 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 Well, Love it. he's a, he, he's judging my lack of movement. Yeah. That. That's, I think that's what Kevin was intimating. <laughs> Who said it? It wasn't me. <laughs> you made me do it. I'm just oh kidding. But no. um, yeah. That's it. His ability to um, change the energy when things are really, when we talk about things like addiction, the energy in that can be really um, different. So the um, spirit always wants to bring our vibration higher. So in that, they do that. So those kind of things are not by mistake. Um, I love, I love spirit for that. So, um, thank you for bringing him to us. Yeah. All yeah. right. Seascape. Whew. Seascape. Yes. Yes. Seascape. We All can right. major changes coming in 2023. Uh, thank you, Lorraine. Thank so you, fun. Lorraine. That's so sweet. Thank you, dear. Um, major changes. I mean, yeah, there's some changes that you get a choice about, which is nice. Um, it's always nice to have some choices, but honestly, your guides, what I'm getting, and I know Kevin's going to get some amazing things, but what I'm getting right off the bat is that your guides are being patient with you. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, they, they're, they support you and love you just like all of our guides support and love us. Right. But sometimes your guides lose, they're like, okay, she's her, her, her timeline of patience is now exhausted <laughs> and now we're going to move her. Right. But so, but yeah. in your situation, I feel like they're still in the patient mode with you, uh -huh. but you're getting this energy. I feel like you're getting activation energy is what I call it. So you may find that next year you travel and take some sort of course or class. Like you might, you might go somewhere exotic or someplace that you think is exotic, like maybe Hawaii or maybe um, just to a place that looks different than where you live. Um, and you may take a workshop or something that is kind of on your soul's path. This is this kind of breaking out of a shell, I feel like I see you in a egg shell and you're quite comfortable, right? In your egg is, you know, um, but you're starting to sort of crack. You're starting to kind of knock the shell out and you're kind of like looking around. So that's what I think the changes are for you next year is sort of this, maybe a new beginning. What do you think, Kevin? So good. I love that. Um, seascape. Yeah. Yep. Seascape. Um, <laughs> oh, I love when they're really direct. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? <laughs> I was so gentle. She was so, I was gentle. so gentle. I, I'm Kevin just is like, what are, you waiting for? what are you waiting for? That's what I heard really Wait, clear. Um, there is a focus. Super polite. <laughs> 
Um, I pulled some cards for you, Seascape. I got a double hit on friendship and relationship. So that's really curious. So there does feel like a focus on that within your relationships. It can also be relationship with yourself. Um, I feel like there's talk about balance for you and where you will, um, you'll go running into something or else you'll completely stop. It's this kind of all or nothing, um, feels a little frantic. They just want you to be a little slower in your, um, in the pace of how you're approaching things. And it's not that it's wrong. Um, I also um, pulled one other card and uh, it's so great. Um, the courage to step into life. It's like the perfect storm. And just um, what stands out in that is the attention, um, just the focus in it, in the, in the eye. Um, and the 44 is also important. So something around just you really love, I think you really resonate with those, um, the breadcrumbs, the signs, and you're so in tune and it's like you never miss them or it feels like you never miss them. Um, let that lead you, let that lead you. Um, yeah. And that's doesn't what he's have saying to be all or nothing about the hint. You, you, they're going to. You're believe me. You're guided. You'll mm. you'll just think, oh my gosh, I want to go here, and then the money or the tickets or the time off or mm -hmm. whatever needs to happen will just sort of fall into place. Um, and that's guidance. That's you being guided. Uh, so I think to put Kevin and I's readings together, I was getting patience. Mm -hmm. Kevin was getting this uh, urgency so i think what i would say is that you're feeling the urgency and your guides are like take it easy let's yeah. slow down there's no reason to do this you know rashly or quickly uh let us guide you and i'll say again this is something that i've learned that i think mm -hmm. is really important when you're getting guidance and you know it's guidance right you know like either you get the sign and you're like i want to sign if it's yes and then you get the sign well, the next thing we do is we get busy, don't we? We're like, mm -hmm. I got the sign. I'm going to do it. So where I find that that doesn't work for me is that I act before I have all the guidance. So I think this is important for you, Seascape. Mm -hmm. I think that what you want to do is get the guidance, wait, get the guidance, wait, get the guidance. Let them give you let them give you a lot of those breadcrumbs before then you go, okay, now I see. We get guidance and I think we just act prematurely. And in this case, I think there's just saying, pace yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And the you can um, stop questioning whether you're on the right path or not. You are on the right path. Nice. Um, yeah. Nice. You're on the right path. All right. Thanks. Yeah. I, I think we may have to stop taking questions because we have oh, yeah. <laughs> questions and so I'm, if mods, if you guys will just kind of put it in there ever so often that we're not taking any more questions. Thank you, Seascape. Merry Christmas to you too. Much love to you, dear. All right. You're so welcome. All Twirl right. That. Patty73, I retired last year and could use direction for the coming year. How exciting. Oh, so many options. That's the thing. We can go into overwhelm when there are so many options. That's right. Have so many choices. And it's like, the beautiful thing is you're, you just make your next best decision. So where you want to place, you feel really powerful and you feel really um, clear in the yeses and the noes. So what you, you don't feel really um, indecisive. So your decisiveness um call on that and just be really clear. Um, where do you want to place your energy? Because you feel like you have all of these options. It's like, I don't know, like you can move, you can travel, you can, you know, explore other relationships, you can, you know, creative, there's so many outlets for you. Um, okay, yeah, a call to be in your in your quiet place as well. Oh, that's interesting. The card, um, career transition. So that's right on target. Um, Okay. Um, I'm just being distracted. Would you understand? <laughs> I'm being distracted. Um, would you understand Mary? I heard Mary really loud and clear. Um, I actually heard Mother Mary. Um, oh, 
nice. Interesting. Larry, let it be. I'm getting the Eagles. Yeah. Is that the eagle? Who is that? Uh, oh, Mother Mary, let it be. No, the Beatles. The Beatles. Oh, okay, interesting. Wow. Do you work so, with Mother Mary? Or that song has a message for you. Oh, okay. Um, so, Patty, I, the thing is, I just want to say this: wow. you're still in work mode, brain, which is like, uh, okay, give me a task. I need to have a to-do list. I need to do this. I need to do that. So you're kind of in this doing energy. So what your what your guides are saying is, you're you really have to acknowledge that there's going to be a time period where you're transitioning. Oh, okay. So there needs to be a little bit of a time period of transition um, because if you make a big, big decision right now, it's not likely to be the right one because you're not here and you're not there yet. You're, you're somewhere else. So, um, but I agree with everything Kevin said, you've got a lot of options ahead of you. And what, what the guides are saying is pick a few things and, and just schedule them for next year. Like, Oh, I would like to travel here. Okay, let me schedule that, right? I would like to take this course. I would like to do do something off of your bucket list. Why not mm. reach into your bucket list and do something, right? Um, but mostly just allow, just be gentle with yourself and allow. Yeah, I love it. Like the let it be that I'm feeling into that. And they were starting to say that. And then I, I got redirected, but they're bringing me back to you going to your quiet place. Um, and in that they're saying that you have the ability to channel. So whether that be through speaking or through writing, um, there's something there for you as far as, um, deeper knowing. Um, so just that place of deeper knowing for you to kind of pursue what you're going to pursue. It's like, um, it's like they'll kind of light the fire in that communication when you're in the quietness. So, um, yeah, channeling, there's something about you and your ability to channel. Mm, nice. Mm, nice. Feels good. And, and last thing is it's not, it's not like you're just going to make one decision. You know, this is a time where you may do a little bit of this and then a little bit of that. And that flexibility might be new for you because when we're working, we don't have that flexibility. But now you have the flexibility of let me just spend some time doing this and then let me spend some time doing that. So they would actually like for you to just sort of meander, have this meander energy. OK, I love that. All the best to you, Patty. Yes, all the best. Mm hmm. All right, Adriana. Adriana. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, dear. Sorry, yeah. Um, a message is from my husband's grandfather, Robert. <sighs> yes, husband's grandfather, Robert. Would you would you uh, let me know, Adriana? Or first of all, let us know if you're still in the chat. Uh, second of all, would this man have sort of bigger hands or or his hands be prominent? Like uh, either he did something with his hands. Um, and um, I don't know why he's showing me his hands. Anyway, um, he's fine. I mean, he he's fine. He's 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 not suffering anymore. He really suffered with this depression. And I, I think it was very obvious to everybody that he did suffer with it. Um, and it, and it feels more like a chemical thing, mm -hmm. you know, like, a mm -hmm. like a depression, not a, um, I don't know why they're saying chemical, but it's an imbalance of the chemicals in the brain. So it's not a situational, uh, depression. It's more of a, a health related depression. Oh, he worked with his hands his whole life. Okay. okay. Um, mm -hmm. It was, it was hard. I mean, I know you guys know this about him, um, but it was hard on him. He was, he really struggled with this um, more than, you know, I would just say, wow. um, and, and he's sorry that, mm -hmm. that he, he's, he's actually very sorry that he hurt the family. He he's very sorry that he went out the way he did. I think it must've been shocking. Um, and, I mean, even though you knew he was depressed, I think the way he went out was shocking. Um, and he's really, really sorry about that. But again, 
when you're depressed and it's much like being an, an addict, you, you're very much about your own, mm. your own self. You're not really thinking about anybody else. Right. Um, he sends his love to your husband mm. and to you. And he, 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 he wants to say that you're a gentle person, Adriana. Mm. He says you're a very giving and gentle person. He says you're very compassionate. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I don't, I, I often have a deal with my guides that I don't see anything really negatively bad or violent. Cause I'm, I'm very clairvoyant. And once I see something, I can't unsee it. So I'm not seeing it, but he told me it was shocking. Uh, so, um, but he's okay. I mean, mm -hmm. he sends his love to you. Go ahead, Kevin. Yeah. Um, yeah. Interesting. Okay. Um, where are you taking me with this? I'm just, when I pause, I'm just making sure that this is what you want me to say. I don't know if this was the first in the family. Um, um, not. And so in that, I do feel that there's people in the living that have some worry around it being repeated, but it's like, it, it's not, it doesn't feel like the ones that are in that um, thought are, it, it's not genetic. So I don't feel he's saying that the worry is not, um, it doesn't need to be there. So in it, um, I just feel like this awareness that, um, it might not have been. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. There's also, um, there's no judgment. There's a talk about this recognition of the no judgment, um, of how he passed. And so in that there's the same embrace on the other side. Um, however we exit, um, that's really important. I heard the name, um, the K name and the S name, like a Steve um, S name. I actually feel like they're both male. Um, there's just this, um, this comfort around your husband. And of course, all of you, but this, uh, he wants him to be more in his grounding. So I feel like the nature connection for him is a way to, um, achieve grounding without being like, Oh honey, um, you need to meditate or you need to do some of the things that he might not be open to. So being in nature feels really grounding for him. Um, so there is encouragement from Robert around that. Yeah. It's just the worry. No need to worry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, it's delicate and I'm just being sensitive to it. Um, sometimes they show me a lot. And so in it, the worry is just, it just released the worry around it. Um, yeah. And so the message is the no judgment. And then just to be in our grounding and that comfort is going into nature um, is the focus that he's, yeah. Cause it's about the trust. Yeah. Be in the trust. And Kevin, when you say no judgment, I just want to say mm. that um, he he is saying you're not judgy, Adriana. I think there might be somebody in the family that mm. has some stigma or judgment around this. Um, but on the other side, there isn't any judgment. I mean, it's you're 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 a beautiful soul. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You're a beautiful soul coming home. And they cherish you and welcome you. Some of us need more healing when we get there than others, right? Um, and, and your grandfather or his, his grandfather might have needed a little more healing. Uh, but there is no judgment on the other side, for sure. Yep. All righty. Sorry for your loss, Adriana. Yeah. And you're so compassionate, dear. Take care of yourself, okay? Yeah. Take, take good care of yourself, too, please. Oh, this is interesting. Because <laughs> I feel like I'm having deja vu right now. Did we do this one? Because wasn't I talking about Pearl? You were, but That's we interesting. Didn't. Kim, did you understand? Sometimes, okay. So we didn't do this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I feel like I'm... I'm. No, I'm with you because the 22 is resonating yes. too. Yes. Pearl and the 22. <laughs> Did you talk about it in the beginning? Was it one of the people you read before we started? 
But we didn't read this, right? No, no right, we didn't. you guys? I don't think we read Kim. I don't remember reading Kim. No, I feel I'm I'm getting a no. Kim, are you still here? I think Pearl is here. That's so interesting. Yeah. And I feel oh. like, Kim, you've been hearing these like tidbits from all of the readings is what she's making me feel. It's like, yes, yes I'm here. Yes. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah. all of that. Yeah. Um, I don't see them in the chat. Uh, maybe we'll come back. How are we? How are you doing? <laughs> oh, no. Kim just popped in. Oh. I'm good. I think I could. Let's check again in 10 minutes. Perfect. Um, okay. So she's here. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Let's go with this. I feel like you've been getting messages from other people's and you're, you're kind of like, oh, is that for me? And I can feel your um, in anticipation to get message from mom. And it's like, um, don't overlook the ones that already came through. And it's like, and of, and of course, yes, when the, um, the focus is really on us, of course, that's very different. Um, but there is, there has been, I, I she's so clear in that. Um, okay. This is random. <laughs> why, why am I seeing like, <laughs> do you not, what's with the vacuum? <laughs> what's with the vacuum? <laughs> Remember, we are not judging what? <laughs> no, yes, yeah, something with the vacuum. Do you know? Somebody need is vacuum? saying you you did read Pearl in 22 in the beginning before you we you check your notes and see if that was something you read before we started. And meanwhile, um maybe maybe Pearl was had a thing about the vacuum. Do you do you have anything to say about the vacuum, dear? Are you talking to me? No. <laughs> Sorry. I'm talking, I'm talking to Kim. I'm sorry, dear. It's uh, oh, oh my God. Listen, here it is. Here it is. And mic drop. Stop Her dog it. Was just chasing it. Oh Her my gosh. I'm just... sweating. <laughs> Why are you... Instantly. I got really hot. That's just the energy of mom. She oh. comes in so oh. strong and it's just okay. like, yes, I'm here. It's so wonderful. You know, these kind of things that are so obscure are just so real and their they're ability the to just be in this moment with us. Yeah. I they're mean, the best. yeah. So feel that it's like, Oh my goodness. I love it. Oh, Pearl. Mic drop Pearl. <laughs> She's like, what does that mean? <laughs> Why are you dropping things? What? Why would you drop things like that? Is that like 52 card pickup? She's like, is that like 52 card pickup? I'm like, yeah. oh my God. Pearl, you're cracking me up, girlfriend. Okay. So good. Oh, jeez. All right. So she was watching you vacuum, apparently. She's hanging out at your house. She says it's very nice and very nicely decorated. She likes the way you have it decorated. Uh, I think Pearl had a sense of humor, huh? Mm. She's coming across as a sense of humor because I think that was, um, might have been facetious about that. <laughs> Let me know if she had a sense of humor. Um, it, it, I almost, she, yeah, she did. She she's being facetious. Art, what is she talking mm. about? Your house, um, and you have a sense of humor too, Kim. Mm. She's saying that Kim has a sense of humor. Kim understands my sense of humor, um, so that's good. Go ahead, Kevin. Are you bursting? So good. I don't, you, you know what? Horn humor. It just feels like I'm just immersed in that um, energy of being in her, you know, presence. And, and in that, it's like she doesn't come in with a, a flood of information because it's like that just feels like um, message received. The one little thing that she did acknowledge um, as I was listening to Susan Lynn was that your healing journey. So she's acknowledging your healing journey and it's like where you might have put a flag thinking that it should have, um, okay, been done or completed or, or whatever. It's like remove the flag. The healing journey is for life and that's all of us. So on it, she's just walking this journey with you. So that's what's coming through from the lovely Pearl. So lovely. I love her. She's hilarious. That woman is hilarious. So good. 
I don't know what Nebraska corn humor is, but I'm gonna I'm gonna Google it after this reading. I'll tell you that. All so right. Good. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Pearl, and thank you, Kim, and thank you, Dog, and thank you, Kevin, for the vacuum. Fantastic. Just fantastic. Love it. Yeah. There you go. Oh, Susan Lynn's waiting for me. Where are we at here? Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm just don't. hanging out. I'm, I'm, I let Kevin drive the car. When we do this, so he, good. he does all the work and I just get to hang out and uh, watch his amazing readings. <laughs> Ditto. I'm just, okay, we've answered these ones. I think I, I a couple people I did, um, I starred that I put in the chat more than once and because I wasn't really paying attention to what I was starring. Um, I like this name. Plucky heroine. Oh my God, I've seen you before. So good. Does my dad yeah. on the other side, Richard, another Richard, yeah? Was it for, didn't we just have a Richard? I don't think so. I don't know. Or was it Robert? Sorry. It was Robert. Oh yeah, Richard. Richard is feeling a lot better. I don't know. He must have been sick towards the end. I'm okay. holding my stomach. I don't know. I'm holding, there's something going on in my chest, stomach area. Um, he, he didn't, he wasn't feeling his best. He said, I wasn't feeling my best. I was pretty sickly or I, I was under the weather ill. I don't know. Um, yeah. He says, yes, you, you did your best for him. He says you did quite a lot for him actually. Um, Um, yeah, dear. I, he he feels like you did more than enough. He's telling me she did more than enough. He's telling me that you, I, I guess, I guess he needed a lot of help is what he's saying. And that, you know, look, what are you going to do? Like, you, you know, you have a life that you have, you had to do your things. You know what I mean? That were important. He's, he's just very grateful to you, to be honest with you. Um, Thank you, Kim. Um, I, I feel like you did something medical with him. Like, did you change a bandage or did you adjust a machine or maybe you helped him in his bed or heart failure and whatever that is? I, yeah. I, the I, heart. Um, I wrote that down. I, I feel like you, uh, you, you did so, what, what, what? I wrote down heart and then I just pulled a card. And as you're saying that, and she's writing it, it's open your heart. It's just ignore. Anyways, sorry, I keep disrupting you. No, no, it's cool. I'm so totally excitable. Cool. Can you tell? <laughs> You'd think this was my first reading. I just am so blown away by spirit's ability that it just, oh, I can't contain it. You got the power. It's so good. <laughs> it's so all good. of the above. Plucky says all of the above. Okay, dear. Well, let's, let's, I, I want to just, before I turn this over to Kevin, I want to just say to you that, that he is just so grateful to you. Um, you were gentle with him. I don't know if he, if he could sometimes be short with people or maybe he had some kind of history, some kind of history uh, that other people judged him or thought some kind of way about him. Um, but he feels like you just really we're there for him. I mean, uh, he's just so grateful. I mean, honestly, he's very grateful to you. Um, and you treated him with kindness. Um, and I, I get, I'm just getting the impression he thought he didn't deserve mm. or some that he thought that you didn't have to, I don't mm. know. Maybe that's cause he was very independent and he just didn't think people had to take care of him. I'm not sure. Um, but go ahead, Kevin. Yeah, I get that too. The acknowledgement of like um, his awareness of how things could have been tough, the impact for other people um, highlight around you in that. I did get the heart um, awareness of the heart. I also feel there's another Richard. I feel like there's another Richard. There's two. Um, I got the D name, like a Dan, Daniel, Danny. Um, D yeah, name. I got a Dick, which is which is oh. a nickname for Richard. Okay. I yeah. And then right. highlight around the month of October, I got the smell of smoke, um, the awareness of the smoke. And then um, 
kind of memory was camping. So I could see a camper, um, like campground. Um, it feels like memories of that. Um, the open your heart card came out. And in that, it's to allow the joy. And I feel like this is, I'm repeating this. I think this was on the show with Kim this morning, but that connection with opening the heart to allow the joy to come in. And, and you deserve that in this very moment. We all do. So in that, um, just that opening of the heart. Yeah. And something about the crow for you, the crow. He's showing mm. me the crow. So you might connect with him or watch for the crow with dad oh, yeah so good he's at peace and he's okay mm -hmm. and i guess uh, her dad was dick jr so oh, okay so there's the um two richards interesting all righty thank you plucky that's a great name. I have not seen that before. And this, we've also done that one. Um, where are we? Here we go. Uh, I think we read for Nancy, did we not? Yes, we did, because she was the job one. Oh, yeah, she, uh, she had just retired. Or was that right? Yes. Um, oh, my God, look at that. Crows would flock at the house after he died. Kevin, you are on fire. Oh, my goodness. Great communicators tonight. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> spirit, you know what I mean? Like, all spirit does not communicate the same way. And sometimes yeah, it's true. like, oh, my goodness. Yeah. Um, Plucky, who has the sore tooth? Does someone have a toothache? I just instantly got a toothache. I don't know who that is, but who has a, a toothache? <laughs> Someone has a toothache. Um, it's making me drool. Okay, Susan Lynn, you're like, get on with it, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, he's drooling, you know, it's like. Totally. Oh, my goodness. I save my best for you. <laughs> All right. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. As long as you don't punch your chest and fall over, we're, we're good. No, I'm good. Okay. I'm going to go with this one. Is I'm. Mary Louise, are you still here? Mary Louise, are you still here? I want to know who's drinking spiked eggnog tonight. Okay, never mind. Oh, All right. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny M. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh, what? Cindy P has a, she just got a, she has a toothache. She has a temporary crown put in. Interesting. Oh, oh my gosh. And Plucky just had a wisdom tooth pulled last week. Thank That's you, the man. Richard. Richard. That's the, man. Man. <laughs> That's the man. Okay, we got we got some spiked oh. eggnog and some hard cider going oh on. My All right. Gosh, so good. <laughs> Just checking in to see how y'all are doing. Okay. I'm all giddy. I'm like <laughs> I feel like have I you stopped have... drooling? Are you still are you not drooling anymore? I feel like I've had the spiced eggnog. <laughs> Ooh, cranberry vodka, Lorraine. Lorraine, oh, I love it. Yes. All right, and then everybody's having all these tooth problems. What Holy is God. going on? <laughs> I don't know, but I, it, hopefully it's not catchy. Totally. I'm it's releasing It's totally that hard to get a dentist over the holidays. So don't don't anybody eat any caramels. I don't know. Something's going on. Wow. Okay, the tooth was Mary open. Louise okay. is like, I am here. She's like, okay. Oh, okay. God bless her. We're over here talking about teeth and, and spiked eggnog. And Mary Louise is like, I'm here. Hello. Okay, sorry. So good. Okay, Mary Louise, can you tell me what is wrong with my right hip and how to fix it? Okay, well, we're not doctors, but... Well, and I'm by not, law, we is... can't give medical advice, and so we're stating that, and we're going to tell you to go see a doctor for medical advice. Yep. Now, after we say all that, we can tell you what our opinion is. Um, oh. Is it bone or is it muscle? Okay. I got a hit on the bone. I did, too. Yeah. Um, Sorry, Mary. I don't know this, but is arthritis in the bone? That might, yeah. is the it? Joint, in the joint, yeah. Okay. In the joint. 
because I, I do, I feel like it, it what well, it's a hip, a hip is a joint. So it's the movement of the hip. Um, I do think you could get some relief yeah. uh, from like a chiropractor or some kind of an adjustment. Um, if you lay on a bed and you put your feet straight out like this, have somebody um, or put your foot against the wall and see if one of your feet is just a little bit longer than the other one. Because if that's the case, your hip is out of alignment. Oh, interesting. Your pelvis is out of alignment. And then either a physical therapist or somebody can do some movements to put your pelvis back in alignment. And then you literally wear, ask me how I know this, you literally wear a belt under your clothes to hold your pelvis in alignment while your muscles get built up to hold it in alignment. But I feel like there's something wrong with your hips being out of alignment and it's causing this arthritis to be worse or this uh, grinding with the bones or something. I mean, if you go see an orthopedic surgeon, they're going to say we need to operate because that's what surgeons do. Yeah. So you may want to get some other opinions. What did you get, dear? Um, I don't know if it's going to go away completely. And I don't like to say that. Um, I do without, feel like without inter in with, it's not going to go yeah. away completely unless she gets like medical. In yeah. It feels like, I just feel like it's like bone on something. So I don't, I, I get that there might be, um, what are you trying to say? Um, like they're showing me therapy. Like, um, like what's that when you do like physiotherapy? So yeah. something, um, but it feels like there's a bit of a procedure that could potentially, this is just in the energy of it now. And like, this is for entertainment purposes only, of course. Um, I don't feel like it's just something that you is going to go away. So something is going to kind of have right. to, you're going to have yeah. to put attention and energy in it for yes. it to change. Yes. That's I agree. Like. I agree. Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. Okay. It has something to do within six within months. Six months. Yeah. So you're going to have to take action is what, yeah. is what Kevin is saying. Yeah. You have to take some kind of action. Go see, go yeah. see a, a physical therapist or a chiropractor. Um, I mean, I would start, I would start like step one and then kind of go up from there. If this doesn't fix it, then go all the way up to a physic to an orthopedic surgeon. If you need to, thank you, plucky heroin. You, you, uh, did, you guys so don't kind. have to do that. Thank you so much, sweetheart. I really appreciate it. And this, I wanted to highlight was the last one. Um, this is curious to me too. Uh, hi, Joan. Um, this is so fun. Plus Richard, Dick, Camping Crow, and Hard Cider all refer to her late husband. Isn't that magic? That's what we're talking about, you guys. Yeah. It. I don't explain it, Kevin. You, you explain it so well. Well, they just have that ability to collect us all in these moments, not by coincidence. And then we come together and we're in this communication and their ability to reach every single one of us. We have to participate in that being open to receive, even if it's one small part of it and you feel that it's for you, it is for you. The only one that will tell you otherwise is you. So in that, receive the message, receive the gift. Um, they just take care of all of us. That's their intention, you know? So, oh, it feels so good. Thank you, Deborah. That Thank is you, so Deborah. kind of you. Um, and for those of you, I think this is where we'll probably um, call it that we will, we, we do this once every three or four weeks together. We alternate channels. Um, we both have our own perspective. I know Susan, you do, um, I don't think you do other shows, um, for personal readings. So, um, come back. And of course there's many other people, some of the ones that were in the chat room tonight that have their own shows. It's never, um, we can't individually get to each question. Um, but we hope that there was something that resonated and just coming together, being in this energy. I know it just, um, fills me up. So Susan Lynn, thank you for having me.
Thank you for coming. And listen, visit Kevin's channel. Because how many times do you do lives? I mean, don't you do them pretty often? Usually once a week, yeah. And or if I'm not on other channels, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. And you're and if you'll subscribe to Kevin's channel, you'll yeah. get a you know a notification if you click the little bell notification for either one of us when we're doing something, you'll get a notification. So my point is is that this man is amazing, truly, oh, really amazing, you. amazing psychic medium. So catch him if if we didn't get to your question, catch him on it. There's lots of opportunities to get these sort of mini free readings, please. We love doing this. So please come to our, you know, come, come when we're online, come to yeah. our live events and ask those questions. If you didn't get it today, come back later. Okay. So wonderful. I think a moderator put my channel in the chat. If not, it's Kevin, the healing medium. Um, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe to Susan Lynch channel. If you haven't already hit the like button, leave a comment after the show, um, in the chat below, um, or in the comments below, it really helps the channel as well. And it really course, does. Yeah, yeah. It's wonderful. So thank you. Kevin's everybody. information is in, in the description. He oh, also good. does private readings, you guys. So if you're interested in a private reading, Kevin's information, his website and his channel are both in the description as well. Thanks for that, Susan Lynn. Absolutely. Thank absolutely. You. Can I actually make one little announcement? Yes, absolutely. Oh my gosh, this is so great. And I have to, pre I have to preempt this. <laughs> um, I still think we should do this together as well. Um, but I'm going to be teaching a class starting in January. We're doing a basically making the connection beginner to novice, any level really um, mediumship class with my friend Stouffer Cabins. And nice. uh, mm -hmm. it's mediumship. Yeah. It is mediumship focused. Yeah. Psychic so and mediumship. Mm -hmm. Is it on your website? <clears throat> it's in the last video that I did with Stouffer and we're going to be putting up tomorrow. The registration will officially open. Um, so that will go on my community tab um, and so, yes, I will be actually posting it through all my social medias as well, but yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, and I'm also <laughs> putting you on the spot. I would love to teach with you too. I know the first thing we met, you were like, Oh, like you're a, I think you said this backstage before we even like did our first live. You're like, you're a teacher. And I was like, Oh, <laughs> Anyways, that's developed, and I'm still holding on to that um, energy of you and I collaborating. We're gonna get together. We're gonna we're gonna teach together, and it's interesting. I'm gonna I'll make an announcement too. So Kevin's <sighs> doing mediumship. I'm announcing that I'm I'm actually doing a class as well in January, but it's on psychic intuition, beginner psychic intuition. So we actually kind of are doing two different classes, which is amazing. Um, and it's on my website, which is in the description below, Susan Lynn Medium. Mine starts January 15th. It goes for six weeks. Um, and when does your start? Do you know? Uh, Jan the last Thursday of January. Uh, okay, a little later in the month. Okay. It's Thursday. So um, five to seven Pacific time for the four consecutive. I think it ends February 16th. But yeah. And it's on Zoom and it's... Yeah. Uh, how long every class? Uh, there are two hour classes and uh -huh. we're only taking 16 people. And the truth is, uh -oh. I think we have half of it already. Um, yes. We'll be would... doing more, but it's one Love of those it. things that, yeah, it'll. Man, I um, want to take your class. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I totally do. If I had time, I would take it. So <laughs> listen, guys, look, you've got two really interesting things to think about in January. Mm -hmm. If you're interested in that kind of thing. I have a feeling that I'm going to be teaching a lot this year. I have a feeling Kevin's going to be teaching a lot this mm -hmm. year. And maybe, you never know, we may even be teaching together somewhere in an event. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That Wouldn't too. that be exciting? I would yeah. be all about that. Yeah. So, so anyway. Good. Love yeah. it. Love Thank to you, you all. guys Happy so holidays. much. Thank you. Much love to you. Merry Happy holiday. Yeah. <laughs> All the holidays. Oh, the <laughs> Stay warm and be safe, okay? So good. And we'll Bye be everyone. back in a few weeks. So we'll be on Kevin's channel. Okay? We will. Thanks, you guys. Y'all take care, okay?
All right, everybody. Bye, guys. Oh. Uh...